Welcome to my presentation discussing imagination and creativity in education. I encourage you to enjoy the presentation I have prepared, outlining understandings of research into creativity and the applications possible for incorporating creativity and imagination into the worlds of young people today. My presentation will share with you some of the amazing possibilities and promotional ideas outstanding teachers can present and provide answers as to the where, what, where, when, why, how and who of imaginative and creative learning. I will be sharing how this information can readily benefit all in a changing, complex and interconnected world. I have created a series of mind maps which are all incorporated into my visual presentation which captures many of the reasons why educators are embracing imaginative and creative approaches to education. Firstly, I give you a basic understanding of what imagination and creativity is using some research-based definitions. Then we examine why a creative approach, approach to education is important, who the beneficiaries will be, and where and when it should be incorporated into education. Finally, we examine the how, some of the easiest ways that educators can incorporate imagination and creativity into the teaching and learning processes. I have gathered information from many sources and the common thread in all my readings has been how students respond and perform so much better in educational settings where creativity is promoted, encouraged and supported. What is imagination and creativity? In terms of processes, it is the cognitive processes that transforms one understanding of or relationship with the world. Sternberg describes it as a cluster of skills that are needed to produce ideas that are both original and valuable. Runko and Jaeger argue that originality and effectiveness is what determines whether something is defined as being creative. As educators wanting the best outcomes for our students, we seek to understand what creati creativity is and can be. We all have imagination, imagination and creativity in our human design and this can be shared with our peers, students and in an environment conducive to learning. My mind map for what is creativity incorporates positive words and thoughts. I refer to stimulus and motivation and the need for intrinsic and extrinsic motivating factors which drive and support the student's learning pro process. Communication and collaboration with others provides the necessary stimulus to further challenge experimentation, encouraging new ideas and concepts. Critical reflection develops a growth mindset and an open mind and attitude towards learning new knowledge and developing skills. Imagining is the act of connecting with the source of all inspiration and possibility. Coupled with hope, desire and the need for invention, it drives creative action producing acts and inventions which solve problems, clarify states and release personal experiences and identities. When considering social change, it can be the catalyst which enables release from oppression as described by Green and the door to worlds of creative innovation. Satire discusses the necessity for imagination in making meaning of our personal experiences. It is important in the development of our sense of self. The student who is in touch with an imaginative process can proceed from imagination to the development of creative progress projects. Imagination helps a student in grasping the universe of knowledge. Some of the power words I've linked with imagination include connection, expression, inventiveness, exploration, satisfaction and originality. Vegeta and Kaufman discuss the 4C model of creativity and argue that the two C's originally presented by researchers must be expanded to accommodate further clarifications. Why do we need creativity in education? The postmodern age is characterised by uncertainty, rapid change, realignment of power, upheaval and chaotic behaviour. Imagination and creativity integrated with critical thinking create self-regulated autonomous learners. Students and teachers who are risk takers and are independent and flexible in their learning processes. These skills are required for successful and productive lifelong learners. Creativity is important because the world is changing at a far greater pace than it ever has before and people need constantly to cope with novel ideas of tasks and situations. Learning in this era must be lifelong and people constantly need to be thinking in new ways, as Sternberg states. 
Student disengagement is a factor which can hinder the teaching and learning process. To overcome this problem, the outstanding teacher will ensure that students have relevance in their learning. Defining a classroom moving from delivering educational thinking that is what can be rather than what is. Robert Fritz, in his book The Path of Least Resistance, states that the most important developments in civilization have come through the creative process. Creativity has an important place in our educational systems for our future benefit, for richer lives and positive contributions to society. Students taught to think critically and creatively can make a difference for the better by being equipped as capable, creative, innovative and enterprising citizens in their future lives. Creative learning benefits all. I agree with John Wilson, Executive Director of the National Education Association. He states that every student should be in a classroom where investigating, questioning and discovering are inherently part of the curriculum. In today's economy, these skills are essential for success and continued world leadership in the 21st century. To counter the lack of student disengagement at school, Louis states, giving teachers and students and principals a chance to apply their imaginative capacities makes all of them much more motivated to be in school. Within a school context, creative learners will be motivated and ambitious for change that leads to improvement of their world and their own capabilities to function and exist within their communities. They are confident in their own validity and ability to lead, inspire and work well with others. They can see the application of creative practices to other situations in their lives. Who? The who. A creative student in the classroom will be curious able to question and challenge looking outside the norm requirements. They will see new relationships and make associations, thinking laterally and comprehending patterns not usually connected. They imagine, look at possibilities, discuss alternatives and offer new approaches to what is. They examine existing and emerging concepts and explore innovative ideas. The creative student will use critical and reflective processes constructively and communicate and collaborate with peers and other mentors. Learners are open to new ideas and demonstrate this by lateral and divergent thinking, hypothesizing, considering multiple viewpoints and being able to be flexible and adaptable in, in situations of uncertainty. They will use their imagination to invent, generate ideas and refine them into options and solutions. This will require initiative, discipline, resilience and persistence to create and present solutions. The creative teacher will use imaginative approaches to ensure learning is interesting, engaging, effective and productive. Their classroom culture will have developed a love of learning, having high motivation and expectations, great communication skills and inspired interest and engagement in learning. The teacher teaching for creativity will develop in students their own creative thinking and behaviours. Confidence and self-esteem are boosted by feedback and encouragement. Structured learning is balanced with opportunities for self-directed learning. There are occasions for collaborative learning, exploration of differing cultural perspectives and discussions that allow for inclusion and extension. Great personal satisfaction can be achieved in seeing success in classroom teaching craft. Happy students and happy teachers collaborative, collaboratively find success in teaching and learning. The where question can be addressed in two ways, as a place within the curriculum and also the application to context of the physical location of learning. The classroom has been the principal domain of schooling for centuries and methodologies of teaching from the all-knowing academic gown and stern-faced master have long been expunged. The productive learning environment focused on great learning and teaching is supported by scaffolding resources, team teaching, extracurricular activities, excursions, home support and study networks, self-directed learning and cooperative partnerships with learning providers. Teachers learn from others sharing experiences, high, successful teaching programs, methods and activities, sharing best practice and highly inspiring student outcomes. School curriculum follows approved syllabus set out by bodies such as ACARA and QCAA. 
This curriculum can be designed with open-ended tasks that provide stimulus materials generous in breadth and scope for students to individualise their responses. The savvy teacher will know their class and work with students to ensure they capture their creative best. The WAM Much higher cognitive skills are required in students performing assigned tasks that require thinking creatively. creatively. These higher order thinking skills include demonstrating critical thinking, problem solving engagement, exploring cross curricular links, developing deep learning of subject matter and learning retainment. The creative and imaginative framework is applicable across the K-12 student grades, allowing students at all levels to be more engaged, confident learners. Students take responsibility for their own learning, gaining confidence in their ability to approach difficult curricular materials, take risks and have an open and inquisitive mind to curriculum offerings available to them. The how. How can teachers nurture creativity in a time when innovation is required and technological changes impact all? Applying a supported learning culture that encourages the learner to explore their learning needs and create imaginative and creative responses to posed problems is essential. Teachers can cultivate Opportunities for this in the classroom. Here are some ideas. Pose challenges and questions, allowing time for thinking and reflection. This allows opportunity to establish vital creativity and connection. Remove the emphasis on reproducing information and focus on critical thinking and problem solving. Challenge, challenge traditional disciplines of learning and reapply thinking to solutions to problems in different modes. Painting murals to depict science life cycles, using poetry to remember formulas, play acting great events of history, making a wind farm to study environmental energy solutions are just some of the ideas available. Planning and creatively assembling any task requires access to many sources and inspirations. We as educators continue to seek ways to improve our practice, innovative methods and teaching resources. We share and value the knowledge we have in teaching and understanding how we learn. We progressively work to encourage learners to be imaginative, creative and inspired lifelong learners. And I'd like to leave you to, with one quote out of the Jeffers, by Jefferson. Pedagogy for empowerment allows students, teachers and leaders to understand, engage with the world around them and exercise the courage to challenge and change what is taken for granted and assumed. Thank you for listening to my speech today.